the idea with these robots is that they capture those lateral dynamics, and so it's really important to use both front feet and rear feet. So but my research area is, is in the field of robotics, uh, specifically about uh, legged locomotion, how to design robots that can use limbs to move about in the world in ways that resemble uh, the way animals move. So we're trying to understand uh, the fundamental principles behind how uh, systems run and move and jump and climb. Uh, so we look at biology and we try to extract principles from that and then figure out how to build those into robots. We encode those ideas into sort of synthetic creature that we create that has that kind of maneuverability. So we've been working on robots that run and climb and jump, sort of this idea of multimodal robots. So they can go through different kind of environments using different techniques. Um, so when you get out in the real world where it's messy and complicated, that we can still move in the ways we want to. We're, we're trying to um, build robots that are going to be useful to human beings. And so a lot of the applications are things like for search and rescue or surveillance. So we're looking more like animal-like. So imagine a synthetic, small, artificial animal that can move or run maybe through rubble or collapse building or a, uh, a minefield or a, a, you know, a, a, a mine that's collapsed or a nuclear facility that's broken down. You want something that can move through that environment and see and do things in there. So it's more of like a small animal. Is, the, is sort of the, the image that, that our robots tend to take. Uh, NSF is sort of the champion of, of the sort of scientific literacy of our country, and they promote that through supporting a lot of different research. And uh, I was tremendously honored to get this award, sort of singles out and says, as, as a young researcher, um, here's a chance for you to pursue something that you're passionate about. And it gives us the funding to allow us to, uh, to sort of examine the, the fundamental science behind the problem that we're addressing. And it gives us uh, enough funding to, to take a graduate student through his career there and some stability and an opportunity to sort of ask the deep scientific questions um, that we don't always get a chance to do. And so it's, it's pretty exciting.